Hi, this is James at Optical Mirror. Today I'm going to teach you how to not screw up your optics and keep them nice and protected, whether it be a first surface mirror or a beam splitter mirror. Well, the first thing you should do to not mess up your optics is don't handle them like I'm handling them with your fingers because that's just going to get a bunch of fingerprints all over your optical mirrors and then you're just going to have to clean it off, which can cause scratches. So, I highly recommend a pair of glass gloves or even just some uh, medical like latex or nitrile gloves are fine as well in terms of keeping the fingerprints off of your mirrors. I really like these maxi flex gloves because they're highly flexible and they offer additional protection from potential cuts and abrasions. Now, the first thing to do is have a look at your optics and see whether there's any fingerprints, like oily stains, or if it's simply dust. If it's simply dust, just use duster. And don't angle it down, because that'll just spray the coolant all over it. Instead, pick up your optics perpendicular. You can see how there's a little bit of dust on this. So that got the dust right off of there. Now it's important to use the right type of cleaner to protect your optics because if you use something like this, we all know what this is, it can leave streaks as well as potentially damage your mirror. So I recommend an isopropyl alcohol solution also known as eyeglasses cleaner or simply lens cleaner. There's a few different brands you can use. A lot of people like the, uh, the Zeiss brand, which is easy to find at Walmart or any number of other stores. The other one, which is uh, pretty easy to find from Meyer OptiClear, is the exact same solution. So to clean off any sort of fingerprints or oily stains from your mirror, simply spray. And then use a non-abrasive wipe. Now, on many optics, you can get away with using a simple microfiber cloth, but on more delicate optics, that may actually scratch it. So for things such as a quarter wave first surface mirror or anti-reflective coating, you'll probably want to use something such as the Kim wipe. Now, the key to using any sort of wipe is only use the surface once. You want to be rotating the wipe. That way, if there is any debris that might scratch your mirror, you're removing it from the surface, but you're not scratching it. So, just as so, turn the cloth. The thing I really like about the Kim wipes is they're disposable, so you don't have to worry about the accumulation of scratchy particles between uses. Okay, now if you're done with your optics, suppose you need to store them or ship them or simply want to keep them safe between uses, you've got a few different options. Now on more durable optics, you can get away with using this mirror laminate. It's also known as a blue netto laminate or snakeskin, and you can get it from C.R. Lawrence or any number of other stores, including ours. The other product, which I highly recommend for smaller optics and more delicate optics, is our Pre-Coat 33, made by Universal Photonics. And this is a specially formulated paint that creates a blue laminate on the surface. Now you want to hold it a fair distance away and be sure and use it in a well ventilated area or even outside. Hold it roughly 12 inches away from your optics and spray evenly across. Make sure you have something in back to, you know, to prevent it from getting on concrete or whether, whatever surface you may be using, a table. You want to apply three even coatings at least to generate a sufficient protective surface that can be easily removed.
One of the things to keep in mind with the, the pre-coat, it's not quite as easy to remove as a standard blue netto laminate, which you can simply remove this laminate with your fingernail in the corner. With the pre-coat 33, you'll want to get out some scotch tape and simply apply the tape to the corner of the mirror and pull back, and that will easily remove it. The other way, once you've applied your laminate, the other way of protecting it is to put it in a poly sleeve. One of the things to keep in mind about poly sleeves, despite appearance and despite what you might think, these can actually scratch optics very easily. So for delicate optics, what you'll want to do is carefully place it within the sleeve, being careful not to scratch the surface. And then, this is key, you'll want to either seal the bag with a bag sealer, or if you don't have access to one, simply fold your bag over the optics so it does not get scratched, and then tape it so that the bag doesn't come undone. That'll keep it nice and secure in there when being transported or stored. The other way that you can do is take one of these Kim wipes and wrap it around your optics like so. In fact, you may want to use several layers of tissue to protect it. Once you've done that, you can slip it within the poly sleeve, and it'll be good to go. Okay, that wraps things up. This is James of Optical Mirror. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below.